You're involved in so many cutting-edge technologies. Are you truly trying to help save the world? Well, I do want to make a positive impact. And now, in one of the most surprising announcements yet, Elon Musk has introduced something that could totally shake up the auto world, the new 2025 Tesla water engine. This new breakthrough might be his most world-changing invention so far. In this video, you'll learn how this engine could completely change the 2025 Tesla Model 2, why it's such a huge development, and how Elon is now moving Tesla in a new direction that no one really expected. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications for West Tech, because what you're about to find out may completely change how you think about Tesla, energy, and the future overall. So how exactly will the water engine change Tesla's? 2025 vehicles, especially the Model 2? Tesla's water engine technology is a big jump ahead of their current electric drive systems. It brings new performance levels that could change the standards for the whole industry. For example, the current Model Y Juniper uses a dual motor setup with 456 horsepower and 497 pound-feet of torque. But with Tesla's new hydrogen-electric hybrid system, those numbers could go up to over 520 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque. That's a 14% boost in power and around a 10.7% jump in torque. This upgrade could help the car go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 2.8 seconds, which puts it in the same category as many sports cars, while still being a practical crossover. Another Important change is the battery life. Right now, the Model Y battery usually starts to lose about 5% of its capacity after 18 to 24 months. But early tests of the hybrid hydrogen system show that this could be stretched to 36 to 48 months, which is nearly double the lifespan. Tesla's most popular car, the Model 3, will also see big changes. Right now, the long-range version puts out 175 kilowatt of power and uses about 25 kilowatt per 100 miles. But with the water engine, the power output could rise to about 200 kilowatt, while energy use could drop to around 20 kilowatt per 100 miles. That's an improvement in efficiency of around 14.3%, and it would push its total driving range from 358 miles to over 410 miles on just one charge. That would beat rivals like the BMW i4 E-Drive, which can go about 401 miles, and the Polestar, too long range, which only does about 270 miles. Another weak point of regular EVs is how they handle extreme temperatures. The Model 3's current heat management works best between 20 and 35 degrees sex. But thanks to the water injection feature, that range could expand to between 10 and 45 degrees sex, making the car much more reliable in very hot or cold conditions. Now let's talk about the upcoming Model 2. It looks like this one could benefit the most from the new engine. With a smaller 45 kWh battery and a 100 kWh hydrogen unit, the Model 2 could reach over 350 miles of range while still starting at under $25,000. Compared to the Chevy Bolt's 259-mile range and $26,500 price, Tesla's Model 2 would offer much more power, about 250 horsepower. That's a lot more than the Nissan Leaf's 147 horsepower or the Hyundai Kona Electric's 201 horsepower. It would also go from 0 to 60 mph in just around 5.2 seconds, while the Leaf and Kona usually take over 6.5 seconds. Perhaps the most impressive difference would be the charging time. While most affordable electric cars take between 7 and 9 hours to fully charge at home, the hydrogen-aided Model 2 could refuel its hydrogen tank in under 5 minutes, if there's access to a special station. That's the kind of speed and convenience you usually only get with gasoline cars. If you had the chance to choose between a Model 2 with this water engine or a regular EV like the Bolt or Leaf, what would you pick? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. If your answer is yes and you think this is a real game changer, you might be wondering, what makes Tesla's water engine so special? Tesla's new water-powered engine isn't just another new idea. It marks a major change in Elon Musk's approach, especially considering how he used to strongly criticize hydrogen as a fuel source. 
But now, Tesla is testing an advanced hydrogen engine that uses a smart water injection system. Many experts are calling this Elon's most unexpected move so far. This new engine seems to take inspiration from similar work done by Austrian company, AVL Racetech and Hungary's Humda Laboratory. They were able to create a high-performance hydrogen engine that uses water injection to make it even better. This new tech comes at a time when more countries are starting to invest in hydrogen power. According to Wood McKenzie, hydrogen-based projects reached a production capacity of over 11 million tons a year by the end of 2022. Spain alone made up 20% of all new hydrogen projects in early 2022, showing how fast this trend is growing. Tesla's take on hydrogen is different because it improves the weak points of hydrogen fuel systems by using water injection. The result is a power output that may break records for hydrogen-powered systems. This could make it a strong option compared to regular electric cars or traditional gas-powered engines. The prototype Tesla engine uses a twin hydrogen setup that gives it high performance while helping reduce carbon emissions. But unlike other hydrogen vehicles that use fuel cells to convert hydrogen into electricity, Tesla's model actually burns the hydrogen in a modified internal combustion engine. The water injection helps fix the power limits that hydrogen engines have had in the past. This design could even work in race cars, where electric motors often struggle to keep up during long, high-speed races. The new water injection system tackles one of the biggest problems hydrogen engines have faced. In older systems, water was added to the air intake to stop early ignition, which can damage parts of the engine. Tesla's improved system cools the combustion chamber and prevents this from happening. It also allows the engine to burn the hydrogen in a way that's more precise and efficient. This leads to more power without the risk of the engine being damaged by too much pressure. Another huge plus is that burning hydrogen only creates water as a byproduct. That makes it one of the cleanest ways to power a car. The numbers show just how powerful this is. Tesla's 2-liter hydrogen engine makes an incredible 410 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque at around 3,000 to 4,000 RPM. That's about 205 horsepower per liter, one of the highest power densities out there. AVL's tests confirm that this kind of engine could compete in top-level racing. Their motorsport director, Ellen Lohr, who used to be a race car driver, said this new tech could help racing become more sustainable. But this isn't just for racing. These engines could help speed up the move to zero emission cars. Hydrogen is the simplest and most common element in the universe, and now it's finally making its way into cars in a big way. Dedicated hydrogen highways, which are starting to appear, add even more excitement to this shift in transportation. People have dreamed of an engine that doesn't rely on fossil fuels since the beginning of the auto industry. Now that dream is starting to come true. AVL recently hit 400 horsepower at 6,500 RPM with their hydrogen engine, a record-breaking milestone. So if Tesla's water engine could boost EV range to over 600 miles, would that ease your worries? About charging? Type Tesla water engine in the comments if yes. I spend hours digging through patents, leaks, and Elon's mysterious tweets so you don't have to. While others are sleeping, I'm here connecting the dots so you get the most reliable Tesla news. So how has Elon Musk changed his path so drastically? Just last year, in early 2023, Musk was calling hydrogen fuel cells mind-bogglingly stupid, a huge pain, and fool cells. His main complaint was that hydrogen was way less efficient than batteries, only about 30% compared to 75 to 90% for electric vehicles. But now things have changed. Experts think Elon isn't giving up on electric cars, but rather combining hydrogen and electric in a new way that could completely surprise rivals, especially Toyota, which has spent over $7.2 billion on hydrogen technology since 2015. Toyota's, Mirai for example, is a hydrogen fuel cell car that gets only 152 horsepower, a range of around 402 miles, and costs about $49,500. 
If Tesla's new hybrid system can offer over 500 horsepower and a range above 600 miles for about the same price, that could be a game changer. Also, Toyota's hydrogen production costs about $10 to $15 per kilogram, which is about the same as gas at $5 to $7.50 per gallon. But Tesla's new setup might be able to make hydrogen from water using a system in the car itself, which could cut costs by 30 to 40 percent compared to Toyota's method. Looking at the bigger picture, this strategy makes a lot of sense. Tesla has ruled the EV market with a 53.4 percent share in 2024, but that lead is starting to shrink as older car companies release better electric vehicles. At the same time, Toyota has over 5,600 hydrogen patents, more than three times Tesla's 1,600 EV-related ones, so they could have an edge in the next wave of clean tech. But Tesla's hybrid system might help cancel out that advantage and still keep Tesla ahead in battery know-how. Experts say this hybrid approach could cut Tesla's battery costs by around 25 to 30 percent per car, saving $3,500 to $4,000 each. It also protects Tesla from problems in the battery material supply chain, a big issue in the EV world right now. China controls about 80 percent of battery material processing, but only about 20 percent of hydrogen production. So by using hydrogen, Tesla can avoid being too dependent on one source and can grow faster toward its goal of building 20 million cars per year by 2030. So when Musk said he wanted to do good things, maybe even he didn't realize just how big this could become. Tesla's water engine might not just improve electric vehicles, it could change what they are. It creates a whole new kind of car, one that might finally free us from needing oil or rare earth materials. Will this be Elon, Musk's greatest invention yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates as this story keeps unfolding. I'll be here to bring you every new detail as it comes out about what could be the biggest leap forward in vehicle technology we've ever seen.